What's up guys, mailbag time. Let's just jump right into it with question number one comes from Ryan and Jillian MMA Freaks who asks, will we really see Habib versus GSP? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I personally don't think that fight's ever gonna happen. Um, I think a lot would have to come into play. I know Habib really wants it. We've seen some more discussion right now, uh, you know, during this time period than ever about this matchup, about could it happen as Habib's last fight. Ali Abdelaziz says Habib has two more fights left in him. One's gonna be Justin Gaethje. Habib wants GSP for the second one. So as much as, as Habib wants it, GSP's rolling around to be, you know, be 40 years old by the time that fight could come together. So he's had, GSP's had plenty of opportunities to come back in the past. For a lot of money could have fought conor mcgregor you know uh i can't imagine that that the money that's going to be offered is going to be something that that gsp is going to jump you know it's, it's going to pull him out of retirement i don't think gsp is that kind of fighter however i guess if, if if the timing's right if gsp's on a crossroads where he's getting that itch again like we saw when he came back and fought michael bisping maybe we'll see it but generally speaking, I don't think that's a fight that we're going to see uh, as much as as much as it would go down in history as, as two of the greats fighting each other. I just don't think it's going to happen. Question number two comes from my man Kyle Volkman at Volk Styles, who says, I'm strongly against the booking right now, but hypothetically, what are your thoughts on the matchup and result of Figueredo versus Garbrandt? Uh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of, of booking this fight right now. I think the UFC is probably a big fan of booking this fight right now. They seem to like to go for the sexiest fights at this point, the ones with the name recognition, even if it kind of interferes with the divisional flow. I mean, flyweight, sure, it's kind of the, the, you know, it's it's got a lot of the parts that don't fit in, so to speak. It's got, um, you know, Askar Askarov, it's got Brandon Moreno, it's got Alex Perez, but none of those guys really stick out as the front runner for a number one contender. So Cody Garbrandt's a name, and if he moves down, I think the UFC is gonna have a hard time not putting him in that title fight. Uh, personally, for me, I would like to see him fight, you know, have a debut at flyweight, see how he looks, then book him for a title shot because, I mean, I, I think you'll get the most juice, you know, for the squeeze, so to speak, out of something like that, where people are hyped for his flyweight debut, and then if he wins, he looks good, people are gonna be more excited for that Figueredo fight, but I think the UFC is probably leaning in that direction, even though it's not necessarily what I would decide to do. The final question is a two-parter from Teflon John at that dude Jr. Don't think that's your real name, but I'm gonna go with it. Realistically, who should be next for Ch Kamzat Chimaev? Great question. Obviously, Chimaev has been a major topic of conversation recently. Um, everybody has an opinion. Is he hyped? Should he be ranked? Is he the next champion? Is he gonna continue the success? Who should be next when he fights allegedly on August 15th? So answering that last question, you know, I would give him somebody in the 25 to 30 range. I don't think there's a reason to rush him. Give him somebody that's a veteran, middle of the pack, has had wins and losses in the UFC, an Alan Joban type perhaps, a Worley Alves type perhaps, somebody in that category because I think this next piece of matchmaking is gonna be very crucial, uh, a very crucial decision by the UFC. They don't wanna derail this guy. I would rather lowball him, give him somebody that's a little easier, a little bit too easy than a little bit too hard. So that's my thoughts. Worley Alves, Alan Joban, Kamza Chimaev, fuck it. That was a two-part question. Second part, totally unrelated from Teflon John. Also, what August bout is totally flying under the radar? I think there's a couple good choices here. I mean, really at this point in time, the UFC is booking so many fights. Bellator's back. Um, Contender Series is airing starting in uh, uh, this Tuesday coming up. So it, it's, really, it's really tough to choose because a lot of fights are just kind of they're coming at us so fast that I think a lot of people don't necessarily appreciate them. So this is a good question. Um, for the UFC, I think Ryan Hall's back. I mean, Ricardo Lamas is a super legitimate test and that's a phenomenal fight. So that's the one that I'm really looking forward to, uh, you know, in, in terms of the UFC, in terms of Bellator, a grudge match that really nobody's talking about next week. Uh, at, at Bellator 243, Chris Lencioni versus AJ Agazarm. Those two guys do not like each other. They've trash talked for a couple years now, hyping a fight, and now they're gonna finally duke it out inside the Bellator cage, inside the fight sphere. I'll be down there. Really appreciate everyone's questions this week. Really uh, overwhelmed by the amount that we got this week, which is awesome. Trending in the right direction. I hope you guys are enjoying this. It's only gonna get better. Thanks for watching.